Well, uh, that uh, last run there on the video, uh, it was actually running for about half a minute before that. I started it up by myself here with my uh, starter and uh, uh, didn't have the camera. I had to crank it a few times to get it going. Uh, I think it's a gas problem or something, but anyway, uh, it started up and I had to run in the house and get the camera and it was set to take uh, photos, so of course that took, uh, see you got a spark plug wire here hanging off. Probably didn't do it any good, but um, so it ran at least half a minute longer than that. But uh, man, it's are making a god awful noise there. Those crankshaft joints. And looking like it's uh, blowing some oil out here in the intake manifold there. I don't know uh, what's going on, but it's uh, it's like 19 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's not exactly warm out here. But anyway, just wanted to uh, get another run out of it there before I. Uh, tear it down and uh, see if there's anything I can do to close up that uh, uh, clearance in the crankshaft joints there so it doesn't sound so nasty. Well, just uh, drained the oil out of the Briggs 327 here and uh, I noticed a funny thing there after that last run. This is this is the muffler from number one cylinder. This is muffler from number two cylinder. Number three cylinder looks similar. And uh, what I noticed after I shut it down was that number one was smoking hot, number two was fairly hot, and number three was cold. So uh, I don't think, I'm not sure, but I don't think number three was running that last run. And then, when I was draining the oil out, I have to tip this thing up to do it, take it off the base, etc. Well, what I noticed when I tipped it the one way was this. noises you don't want to hear when you're draining the oil out of your engine. So in other words, it's possible number three let the rod go. But I will uh, tear it down and find out here fairly shortly. Got some uh, wear on my starter nut there from jumping around, not having it completely on when I hit the starter. But uh, anyway, so I may have some deeper repair work to do on my uh, Briggs three cylinder stacker type radial here than I thought. I'll uh, make more videos about that. Tearing down the three cylinder 327 there. Uh, this is uh, cylinder number three at the bottom. As you can see there's some carnage there. The uh, crankshaft timing gear snapped in two pieces and there's some chunks of stuff around the crankcase there. I see a gear tooth, but uh, there looks to be some aluminum too. I don't know. There's, uh, you can see some uh, score marks up in here. Uh, the rod, con rod, looks to be in one piece. Uh, I won't, can't turn the engine over. It's uh, something going on with the uh, number two cylinder, I think, too. But uh, at least it didn't uh, blow a hole in the side or anything. But definitely some carnage going on there. That's probably the rattling around I heard. Well, I got the engine all torn down now. This is uh, number one cylinder. Uh, appears that the only thing uh, problem I found so far is this uh, broken uh, crankshaft gear off of uh, number three cylinder. It uh, did a good uh, job on it. Of course, it broke at the uh, the key there where that comes through, since that'd be the weakest point. Broke a full tooth off there, and uh, I don't know why I got these little uh, spirals there. Uh, they look like uh, thread pieces, but uh, that and some chunks of the block where it uh, slammed the gear around into it. But uh, other than that, it appears that uh, the engine is still okay, and if I, well, hypothetically put a new gear on it, it'd probably run, but uh, seeing what it did to this one, I'm more inclined to... Uh, build a whole crankshaft out of one that has the integral gear there like uh, number one here but uh, anyway I uh, still have to determine what I'm going to do with that